I've added a new Unity package to this playlist here in the corner. This time I have for you this joystick for Android, which may also work for iOS, but I haven't tested it. Something nice about this joystick is that it also responds to keyboard and mouse inputs, so you can test it in the Unity editor without the need of a touch input. You have the link to download this joystick in the corner. In the package you will find the necessary assets for the joystick to work, these three elements here, and then there is a scene where the joystick is already set up and is used to control a cube as an example. To start using this joystick, simply add this prefab to a canvas. Here I will create a new canvas and I will set the canvas scaler to scale with screen size. For the resolution I will use 1920 by 1080. Then I drag the joystick prefab as a child of the canvas. Doing this you can already start using it. The idea is that this joystick will manage the inputs made by the player and we're gonna create a control script for a character, a car or whatever you wanna control. And then we simply ask questions to the joystick. Basically we're gonna ask two things. The first is the value of the horizontal axis, a value that will depend on the arrows. It will be zero if the arrows aren't pressed or both pressed at the same time it will be minus one if the left arrow is pressed and it will be plus one if the right arrow is pressed. So using this horizontal axis value, we can build our motion control script as we need. The second thing that we are gonna ask to the joystick is if the interaction button is pressed. This works exactly the same as when we wanna know if a key is pressed in a certain frame. In that case, we use, for example, the get key down function of the input class. In this case, we're going to use a function that I have called isInteractionDown and it's defined inside the joystick class. If that function returns true, it means that the interaction button has been pressed in that frame. And that's the idea of how to use this joystick. In the package, there is a script called PlayerExample where I use the joystick to move the cube and make it jump. So inside the control script, the most important thing is to define a joystick type variable. Here I'm doing it in this line. And then in the start function, we have to initialize this variable with this instruction. Remember that the joystick prefab has to be in the hierarchy, otherwise you are going to have a new reference exception because Unity cannot find it. And if you want to know what is this that I'm doing in line 19, here in the corner I leave you a playlist about finding game objects and components references in Unity. I show this particular method in the ninth video. Once all this is done, you can already use the joystick through this joystick variable. If we want to know the value of the horizontal axis, we simply do joystick.getHorizontalAxis, open and close parenthesis. And if we want to know if the interaction button has been pressed, we use joystick.isInteractionDown, open and close parenthesis. Those two functions are all you need to know to start using the joystick. What follows from now on is up to you, the type of control you want to implement. A very important thing is that the reading of this particular joystick must be done in the update function otherwise you may have problems. You can make the movements inside update or initialize variables in update and then use fix update for the moment, as you prefer. But the functions from joystick must be called inside update. Here as an example, I'm multiplying the value of the horizontal axis by an adjustable speed in inspector and then save that result in the current speed variable. Then we can use the current speed variable to construct a velocity vector and assign it to a rigid body, for example, or you can also perform the movement through the transform class. For the jump, I read the state of the interaction button, and if it's true, I simply apply a speed in the vertical axis. But as I said, all this part will depend on what you need. That's all I wanted to show you. Remember that you can download this solution with the link in the corner or in the description. Here on the left, I leave you another video, and on the right, a list with more Unity solutions that you can download and import. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you in the next video. Tschüss! Nanny?